Welcome back to Defense Like a Jedi. It's my third attempt at making this video. People call and it kicks me off my phone. So my motivation is, is not as excited. But what I want to do is do some uh, quick videos. Reason being, I'm seeing people in my alliance and on my server that are watching my videos or paying attention to chat and that's how they're learning how to play the game. And they're still missing some big tidbits. So I'd like to just do quick ADHD friendly videos where one point, fix it, we'll move on to the next one. Um, what I want to talk about is your build with your siege. Uh, I'm seeing people with anywhere from 2 billion to, you know, three and a half, four billion power. And what they're having is way too many big siege. Big siege are great for killing the incoming march, but it makes you very vulnerable to a siege bomb. So yeah, I get why you want them against rookies, but uh, you're just, we're just looking our chops to find somebody like you. So if you have, you know, 2 billion ground or less in, in range and in mounted, and you have 2 billion siege at the T14, 213, T4, uh, 212, T12 level, um, you're just setting yourself up for failure. So just make sure the reason I'm on this page here now is I just want to show you what my build is, is, you know, I don't even have 400,000 T14 siege. I'd like to have more. If I could play against stupid people that would never siege bomb me, I would get rid of all my big layers and just have, yeah, I'm out for a walk again. Uh, I'd get rid of all my big layers and just have siege because I would kill everybody that tried to hit me with range ground and mounted. So, um, unfortunately, you're going to run into some players that know what they're doing and uh, you need to thin out your siege. So, I've got under 400,000 T14s, under 500,000 T13s. I have under 900,000 T12s and now my T11s are beefy. Now, I have too many T11, reason being is I build them for uh, uh, the gathering troop event. I always build the T11s to the to the 100,000 level every week or every time that event's up so I can get those uh, those shields that you need to upgrade your gear, oh, which reminds me, I got to upgrade a, a subsidy general gear. There, see, who's got ADHD now? Um, so uh, I have too many of those. I would say one and a half million are are good, but it's okay to beef that one up because they have the same range as a T12 and uh, they really do a lot of killing. And when they get wiped out, they're cheaper to recover and you don't lose on the power exchange. So that's why I have that. As you'll see, I have about one and a half million T10 and same thing with not quite as many T9. So that's, that's what I'd like to see people do that I want to see succeed. So you guys play your own game. If you want to do gazillion troops at every level, uh, go for it. But then nobody's probably going to attack you either if you're 10 billion power. So I have to pull off the road here. Got traffic from two directions. So the other big thing, bigger than what we already talked about, the reason for this video is if you look at my my none of these seeds really matter until you get to the t4 siege um i have now on i'll put them on the top 4.8 million is what was during this report i built that up to about six and a half million reason being uh as derek defies has proven and i accidentally called him optimize ebony yesterday uh as i was corrected it's derek defies the math genius that uh has figured out all the battle mechanics does he know everything he thinks he does but i think he's got it pretty close to figured out and i would trust most of what he says anyhow uh and and, and look up his channel by all means if if you want to uh, hear and learn from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about instead of somebody like me i would look up derek defies and try to pay attention to his videos it is kind of like watching paint dry but um with these t4s they don't have as far of a range. So what ends up happening is they end up advancing further into the battle to be able to attack something. Whereas your big siege can attack from further back and they don't need to move up to hit anything. So where that advantage gains you is the incoming march. Their T14s, 13s, 12s 
are going to attack the T4 layer and below, but I really think T4s have done way more than T3s and T2s and everything below. So I'm just saying, if you want to copy me, do what I'm doing, you got to build up that layer. And it's not something I come up with on my own. I'm copying other people, so not trying to take credit for that. I'm just saying, if you don't have this, like people I've seen on my server and in my alliance have 500,000 or less, you're going to get destroyed. You're just giving away all your big siege. Now, K44 comes in there, big siege march. He's probably going to blow through your T4 and then climb the ladder and kill all your siege anyways. So you're not just going to want to, you know, build these T4 and think you're indestructible, but you need that layer there if you're going to succeed, at least against somebody. Otherwise, I'm going to find you and I'm going to siege bomb you and I'm not even an offensive player and I'm going to win. So does that sound cocky? Uh, anyways, let's end that video there. Well, you know what? ADHD people are gone. I'll show you guys uh, this little tidbit. I don't know if this is that great of a tidbit, but I thought it was interesting. So currently I'm building Cassandra and I never know what's going to be next. And I just finished today. I usually don't speed up, speed them up until the Friday of the SBS. So that's what I've done. I just knocked out my level 15, which is painful because I don't like wasting these on troop training. And it jumped the troop training to level 19. I mean, training capacity to level 19, which means that I get three more rounds to beef up. On the bottom, you'll see the Noble Priestius uh, in-city range troop and siege machine defense. I'll be able to do two rounds of that. And I'm pretty excited about those stats. And then I'll be able to do the level 18 where I'll get enemy ground and mounted troop defense. 30% each before I have to do troop training again. So just wanted to let you know, like, once you get past that painful goal of getting through some of that troop training, because I had to do that every other time. And that's just a waste of time for me. But I wanted these other stats, so I stuck with it. If you want to work on your Cassandra, there's light at the end of the tunnel. All right, now I'm done.